The results of the phase 1B uh, 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 of the ongoing Camilla trial, so right now the trial is phase 1-2, it's ongoing. Uh, we presented the phase 1B, the mature phase 1B results uh, of the study here at the SEPC meeting, and it is uh, showing uh, clinical synergy for the combination seen uh, in, in this, uh, particularly in the group of patients with colorectal cancer and gastric and uh, esophageal adenocarcinoma. Uh, we have shown an impressive overall response rate of around 27% with a median uh, progression-free survival of 4.5 months and a median overall survival of uh, 9 months. Uh, we have also done a subgroup analysis in the group of patients with uh, PDL1 CPS score 5 and above. Uh, and around uh, half of the population uh, of patients who went on the study belong to this group. Uh, we've seen uh, way better results in this group uh, with uh, really better overall response rate and uh, better progression free survival, medium progression free survival and, and overall survival. The median PFS uh, for, for in this group was six months as opposed to uh, 4.5 months in the uh, overall population. Uh, and this is, uh, I mean, the, the, this is kind of a small sample size, considering the small sample size, but it, it's kind of um, uh, validate, uh, you know, that CPS, that PDL1 CPS score matters uh, when, uh, when we treat with IO, whether the treatment or the regimen is IO alone or IO plus chemo regimen, or in this case, IO plus uh, VEGFTKI regimen. And uh, this is actually the first time that we are, uh, that's, uh, that's um, you know, we are reporting the uh, PDL1 CPS scores uh, uh, in, in the population of patients um, with colorectal cancer. So we're excited, and, and this needs to be validated in the ongoing study in the larger size population.